Yes team, welcome back. Now, first off, I just wanna say a huge, huge just thank you for just the support everybody showed in the last video. Honestly, the amount of comments and DMs that you guys sent through and the messages themselves were just, they were just so supportive and so kind. And it's amazing to know that you guys just like mess with the channel, mess with the content and just myself as a person that much. So yeah, a huge thank you to all of you for again, the kind messages and the support in that last video. So in today's video team, I'm gonna be showcasing you 10 ways that I personally like to style the Doc Martin 1460s. Now I have done a Doc Martens lookbook before about over a year ago and let's just say my style has definitely changed quite a bit since then, let's roll a little bit. So as you see, my style has definitely changed quite a bit since then. So I thought it was time to do an updated version. I've got 10 outfits that I want to show you all today. So sit back, get cozy. Let's get into outfit number one. So straight in with outfit number one, guys, this is my just hands down absolute favorite way that I like to style these boots at the moment. Like this is literally my probably favorite outfit right now, just hands down all together, done. What I absolutely love about this outfit is it's a smart casual outfit. I feel anytime that you add the Doc Martin boots into an outfit, it has this kind of like casual edgy-ish style. <laughs> you kind of get what I mean. So starting on top, the black overshirt is from Arkit. Then we have a white vest on underneath. Then let's just say that doesn't have a brand right now. Um, then we come on down to absolutely my favorite pair of trousers. Definitely best ever thrifted um, pair of literally anything I've ever got. And once again, let's just say these might at some point become available to you guys as well. So that's all I'm gonna say on that matter. Uh, and then obviously we have the Doc Martens on foot. Out of all of the outfits here, this is definitely my favorite and it's been one that I've been going back to so much throughout this kind of summertime period. What I also really like about this outfit is that you can easily just take off that overshirt and keep that vest tucked in and I still feel it looks really, really good. <music> Outfit number two, guys, is definitely a very casual version, and it's actually teaming the Doc Martin boots up with sweatpants. Now, some of you will mess with this, some of you won't. I personally really do, and this is definitely the type of thing I wear when I'm like going to the gym. What I'll do is with the tote bag, I'll also put all my gym gear in there as well. So on top, it's just a black oversized t-shirt, then we have the Cole Buxton sweatpants, and then again, the Doc Martens, obviously. So the third outfit, we're bringing in a little bit more layering and also the fisherman's beanie. Now, honestly, Doc Martens and cargo like trousers just go together amazingly. These cargo trousers are from Running and I think I think the Bro Magnus has just like restocked them or something like that. Maybe they're sold out now, uh, but I'll put a link down below because you guys ask a lot of questions about these ones. Now, when you do wear cargo trousers and boots, you can obviously tuck the cargoes into them and that can give off a different look. However, with this outfit itself, I decided not to and I just rolled them up. So the beanie is from ASOS, the white t-shirt is from COS, same with the vest on top, running trousers and then the Doc Martin boots. The fourth outfit, we're playing back in that kind of like territory of smart casual. We've got this navy blue shirt on top with the white t-shirt and then obviously the Issey Miyake black pleated trousers and then Doc Martens on foot. Now, I believe Issey Miyake trousers, the en place ones, 
they look amazing with boots. I think there's two things they look really great with, to be honest. Uh, that is boots, I'm really a big fan of that, and then also derby. So like if you've got some just like black derbies and black socks, they look really good together as well. Now, you can just forget about that rule of navy and black. You know, you shouldn't wear them together. I personally really like it here. If I was gonna go out in the evening wearing this outfit, I probably would switch out the Dog Mountain boots and go for a pair of derbies, just to kind of like give it that more evening, you know, smartier, smartier vibe. <laughs> God. So outfit number five is my like second favorite outfit because it is in all fairness, very similar to outfit number one as far as the color scheme goes. I mean, when you play with black, white and beige, I mean, those just go together beautifully. So on top, we do have this beautiful knit by Mason Margiela. Once again, we have the thrifted trousers, the Doc Martens, and then the Reigns tote bag just to finish it off. And like I said, I think everything just flows together so nice here. And in all honesty, guys, this is going to be an outfit you're gonna see me wear so much in autumn. Just that nice knit on top. It's, yeah, so sorry in advance, but you're gonna be seeing plenty of this one. And also if you guys wanna recreate this, literally any black sweatshirt or a turtleneck would go together just great on this. So Doc Martens just go hand in hand with like that kind of army feel, like, you know, their combat boots, military style boots. So <laughs> this one is, I don't know if I'd actually wear this one out. I think it looks great, but I think it's because it just, I feel like I'm playing like dress up. I, like, I'm, I feel like I'm trying to look like The Rock, even though it doesn't matter how much I try to tense my arms and push out my biceps here. I mean, I'm not gonna be the same size as him, but I do really like this outfit. It's just, it's very, very military inspired. As you see, I did tuck in the cargoes this time, which I do like. However, I think when tucking in your cargoes, for example, a higher boot, that's not doesn't just finish kind of like just above ankle height would have been better just can give off a little bit of a better look and then randomly during filming i just decided to see what that kind of like navy shirt would look like on top of it and i kind of liked it i kind of didn't like it i think they needed to be different boots to actually fully pull off that kind of like shirt and maybe change up the colors a little bit but it's just to give you an idea of kind of my process of like i just try things on look in the mirror and see pretty much what i like i'm not gonna lie though when i was wearing this i was like oh i could i, I could be in the next like gi joe that's that's literally how i felt like yeah like me and the rock gi joe part three like i, I might hit him up i might give him a medium now that we've played little military dress up we now are on to outfit number seven, and this is a lot more of, at least the top portion, a lot more dapper. Now, I love, again, the way this whole outfit fits. It's a very kind of like just a straight fit. I think, honestly, the main thing that makes this outfit is the Emmy jacket on top. What's really good about this Emmy jacket is the fact that it is slightly cropped at the bottom of the hem, so it you just don't really drown in it, and it helps to kind of elongate your legs. Obviously, the trousers have the writing text on them as well, which kind of just gives a little bit more detail uh, to the outfit and just adds a little bit more interest. Now, unfortunately, this Emmy jacket is sold out, but our kit, in the women's section, I'll put a link below, has one that is so, so similar and way cheaper. So go check that out if you do really like this um, Emmy Paris one. This is to me is like a perfect spring outfit. And then also I guess coming to the end right, right now of summer and slightly coming to that autumn, I, I think it just, I think it's such a nice fit. Now the thing about this outfit is it's very simple. So we do have the fitted black t-shirt, which is one I'm actually wearing right now. And then we have it tucked into the weekday wide leg jeans. Now these are probably my favorite pair of jeans that I have. They're so kind of different, have that kind of like 90s feel to them, but they're just, they're not actually that out there or anything like that. They are light blue. They are, they do have blue in them. A lot of people think they're white. They actually do have blue. Obviously, then we've got the Doc Martens. Then as an accessory, we have that beige netted bag. What's really good about these bags is one, to me personally, I think they look aesthetically pleasing. I really like them. Adds a little bit of that kind of color to the outfit. And on top of that, they can easily be tucked into your pocket. So if you are just going to the store or doing a little bit of a food shop or something like that, where you're not getting a whole heap of stuff, 
you don't have to use you know like the plastic bags that they have in their store you can just use your one you know help the planet out a little bit and not buy all the plastic and yeah they just look great chuck some flowers in them i've got some of my books in this one and my sunglasses and i think there's just a cool little thing to bring along as a functional accessory to the whole outfit Now the second to last outfit is no stranger to this channel. You guys have seen this one before. Fishman's beanie on top. Then we've got my thrifted oversized shirt. Now this time I do have a white t-shirt on underneath. Typically I wear this with a vest. The reason it's with a white t-shirt this time is just to show you that you can easily really quickly take off the shirt, take off the beanie, and you've kind of got this whole new look. To me, this is a great everyday outfit. You know, you're just going to meet a friend for a coffee. You want to, you know, go study or whatever in a cafe, do some work in a cafe, whatever it is that you're doing. I think it's a great, just comfortable daily outfit. Yep, that's what I think. <laughs> So this final outfit is, it's weird. I really like this outfit. However, it's kind of different to my style. It gives me kind of three type of vibes. It gives me this kind of like lumberjack vibe. It gives me this kind of fisherman vibe and then this kind of edgy vibe all in one. Uh, although definitely floating towards the lumberjack fisherman. But I really do like it. Now what's surprising is that <laughs> if you remember back, I said, me and indigo just don't go if you remember that video i said it like that in indigo and me just don't go or something like that. where apparently indigo and me we we're, be, we we're getting a friendship now yeah i like indigo jeans i think they're really good i what it is is i really like these jeans these are from arkit and i like the relaxed nature in the leg however i do wish the rise of the trousers was just a little bit more. I wish they were a little bit more high rise because that's what I personally like in my jeans. But overall, I really like them. On top of that, I really like when I do cuff them up at the bottom, we do have that kind of contrast between the indigo and then the inside leg of the jeans. This is definitely a perfect, you know, start of autumn outfit as well, just to give you guys some ideas. But I will be doing a full video on autumn essentials and autumn lookbooks coming up because we're about to dive into that time. Other than that team, those are the 10 ways that I personally like to style the Doc Martin 1460s. Let me know in the comment section below which was your favorite outfit and also how do you like to style them yourself. I'll make sure I link everything in the description box down below along with some alternatives if certain items have sold out. Other than that team, enjoy the rest of your day, keep dressing well and I'll see you all next time. Peace.